Hello and welcome in today's quick and productive tutorial. I am Tanvir San with you and we will be learning today how to design t-shirts and we would also know about the principle of it and at the end we would learn how to convert those design files into AI files to deliver it for printing jobs. So all of it in one video but we will learn it very quickly. So without further ado let's get started. So before doing any design, let's have a look of an actual t-shirt. We are now in Amazon official website and we can see this t-shirt of Doctor Strange selling at the price of $23. So at that price you might be thinking the designer has put a lot of work but believe me this design you can do it in 2 or 3 minutes using PowerPoint. So we're definitely gonna make it but before that I want to teach you about some design principle of t-shirts some of you may know it but those who don't it, it will be beneficial for them so let's start so the first so the first important principle is the scale and size of design you can see here too much large or too small design would not suit the quality or would not suit the pleasant appearance so you have to maintain your size and scale you can follow some standard sizes you can find in the internet like this is a blog from printaura.com here you can see you can find the design lengths and widths of your work so it might be helpful when designing the t-shirt i would give the link in my description okay so let's get back into the principal stuff and now the second principle is about positioning your design work if you position it too higher or too lower it will it, it would seem absurd but the proper positioning would stand out your design work and the t-shirt would be very good and the third one is composition look from these two t-shirts the left one is better why because the design composition and the balance okay the symmetry is found here so this t-shirt this symmetric design and the composition is very important for t-shirts we would try to maintain the symmetry in our following t-shirt designs and after that you can see typography if you if your t-shirt have only typography try to experiment with some fonts it would be seem more appealing and afterwards color color is the most important thing you have to you have to uh, be careful about the contrast of the color try to use white design with dark backgrounds or dark design with light backgrounds so this stuff so these five main principles we'd obtain in our design in following times so let's now let's design the marvel t-shirt that i have showed you earlier so so step one is download a t-shirt mockup. So we want to follow this design, right? This design. So for that we need a black t-shirt. So search online black t-shirt and we'll find several of these. If you are pleased with one, just drag and drop it in the PowerPoint. Now let's work in it. So, so after that, the step two is to select the design type. So our design is mostly typographic, so we will learn the typographic design at first. So we can see there is a Marvel logo on the top and then there are three texts. So let's insert the Marvel logo at first. So search just Marvel logo on the internet and it finds several logos. So just drag and drop one. Okay. So let's make the design at the side of it. So make it small and now insert text for that in go to the insert tab and insert word art so here I can type and then make a copy of this text press the control key and drag it and now the type
so the typing has been done now we have to change the fonts to to know the fonts of this design i have searched online i have searched online and from dayfont.com i have found that this this fonts are used in this design so i have downloaded these fonts the first font is called dragon lord so this doctor strange word i would change its fonts to dragon lord yes this dragon lord okay now let's increase the size of this d it's too much and then increase the size of this it's s okay now it seems perfect now in that let's decrease its size it was decreased okay and now insert some shapes okay this there's a unnecessary space okay now insert a shape so from insert shape option take a rectangular set shape and make it very lean okay very lean copy it ctrl c ctrl v and put it another time now the select both shapes okay okay now the select one of the bars and remove its outline from shape outline select no and now select the toggle bar in the bottom of it and change its color to gradient okay now there's two bars i've select a yellow bar dark yellow and this one would remain blank okay. so let's move it up further and from this direction option choose this option okay now do the same for this bar also gradient fill now change the direction to opposite direction okay now change the this multiverse of madness theme for that we'll use the font go to the home tab remove the shadows and use the font of it's called bodhani empty poster compress don't worry i would give the font link in the description you you can download it from there so select that and put it in the under of this line no and uh, now i have to change the color of this text so select the select the text and go to the text option from here you can go to the gradient option and now i will select the color of red reddish color red color and this color is black okay fine now change the direction from up to lower now nice it seems nice and this doctor strange text change the color to white color now obviously you cannot see the color there is a text doctor strange you might see it again okay let's leave it here now this this is uh, not a scale i have just i have just uh, make some text so to make it scalable you have to make it as a group so press ctrl g and it has been grouped and now right click on it and select copy and below it press the right click again and here from here paste option you select the picture option well now it's a picture look it's a picture and you can scale it okay so I'm scaling it down okay and now place it on the side all right look we have designed the t-shirts it's quite it's like this maybe I I could have brightened these colors now let's try another t-shirt for that open a new slide and insert another t-shirt mocker so i have downloaded several of those so let's try with blue one 
okay so previously we have uh, tried typography so now let's try some vector arts I have uh, prepared a vector arts previously it has been uh, drawn using just shapes you can find shapes panel here and just using rectangle circles and other stuff I have created this thing so now let's copy this thing and paste it here okay let's scale it okay that's fine and place it here okay that could be another t-shirt so like this we can try more some more t-shirts like let's try now a black t-shirt again okay and this time let's try some another typography so for that go to the insert tab and go to the picture tab i have downloaded an image like this image okay this image where from where i have downloaded i've just searched online some uh, you'll find several designs okay from here i have choose one of the design and now i'll do a very very interesting thing i will format this picture i'll go to the format tab and select remove background okay by selecting this i will uh, increase this window and powerpoint will automatically detect the artwork and if you click the keep changes option it will remove the background so we can i can put it here just like this we may change the t-shirt color to a little darker one for that choose the color option and select a dark t-shirt okay now it looks good so like this we can make many t-shirts as we can let's insert another t-shirt like yellow one and let's insert our channel logo this logo uh, before that let's remove the background for that select the picture go to the picture format tab and select remove background and increase this window size and click keep changes the background has been removed and if you select the artwork and place it at here okay now let's try another t-shirt go to the window tab and now let's insert another mock-up insert this t-shirt okay and let's try let's insert uh, another design work let's use avengers logo on that all the things i have downloaded from internet and if you need some i will give the links in the description okay so we have designed five t-shirts okay in total we have designed five t-shirts now now let's we have to give this t-shirt on printing job so to do some printing jobs we can do simply a thing we'll click the file option and from here we'll click export okay and then we'll click change file type okay and if you save if you save the files as png portable newer networks save as okay if you click okay then there will be option come if you want to convert all the slides click all the slides okay we can see in the presentation folder all the t-shirt has been all the t-shirts has been come as a png file we can those which can be opened in illustrator files and once it is opened in illustrator file you can give it to the printing job persons because they print from illustrator or photoshop so let me let me show you how this is editable in illustrator let's open illustrator 
now now i have opened illustrator and from this file option i'll go to the place option and from here we i we can find all the t-shirt we have designed we can pick any of those and and once we save the file go to the file option and select save as select where we can we want to post our ai file and click the save option now i can give select it in a lower version because most of the printers pin, printer worker don't have higher version so you can select cs3 click ok fine now where is my file let's find it look this ai file if you give this ai file to the printer workers they will print the t-shirt they will print the design on your t-shirt like this you can you can design the t-shirt on powerpoint and make it as an illustrator file to finally get the job done by printing your t-shirt on the so this is the whole process of designing t-shirts so i have created the thumbnail of this video with using powerpoint also so it's a very useful stuff i think you have some you have gained some knowledge if you like the video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you for more updates and more fun video of illustrator powerpoint and graphic design software please stay tuned thank you